Hi everybody, this is John from Aim High Family Firearm Center. Today, I'm going to bring you a review of the gun we already did. Except we did it. In my hand here I have the Ruger American in 45 ACP. So a few years back, Ruger came out with their American line as a, as a full size duty pistol. And I believe it was last year or two years ago that they came out with the 45 variant. This is a 10 plus 145. It is a hefty gun and it shoots great. Ambidextrous on the slide release, ambidextrous on the mag release. This gun is pretty much fully, at, um, this gun is completely ambidextrous. You've got three, three dot Novak style sights, Picatinny accessory rail in the front. You've got your little dingus in there on your trigger. Now the trigger pulls about five and a half pounds. It could, I haven't measured it, but that's what the, the specs are. They did a very nice job on the side serrations with the cross checkering, and it does come with interchangeable back straps. Now this gun is very comfortable to shoot, especially in 45, due to its half. It's got some low recoil, more of a, a not a much of a muzzle flip as some 45s. Um, so we already did the nine. We're going to do the 45. Try it out. It does have a uh, window for to check if it is loaded, but we're going to shoot this firearm. Then we're going to take it apart, do a field strip, get a five round accuracy grip like we normally do, get 10 rounds, uh, fire 10 rounds out of it just to show you what the recoil impulse is. Uh, but uh, if you're looking for a nice 45, this one is not bad at all. Uh, I really do like shooting the Ruger American series. Um, it's a very underrated gun in my opinion. Uh, it is a Ruger, it's overbuilt, like it's built like a tank, like all Ruger semi auto pistols. They're nothing to write home about in the looks department. You know, it looks kind of nice. It looks kind of weird. But uh, that being said, let's go ahead and fire off 10 rounds and then get a five round accuracy group. All right, guys, we're on the range now with the Ruger American. I've got its 10 round magazine. Put it in. Let the side go home. Let's go fire off 10 rounds. for a 45 on this American is great. I don't know what they did. I don't know if the bore axis is a little bit lower than I'm used to, but it doesn't want to flip in my hand or push back. It's just like a nice gentle push. Uh, I like this gun. I like shooting this gun a lot. So let's go head down range. We'll get a five round accuracy group and then we'll wrap up the review on the Ruger American. Guys, the Ruger American, I told you I like shooting it. Man, that's one, two, three, four, five right there. Two of them almost in the same hole in two different spots. The gun is accurate. Like I said, the recoil impulse is very low, which helps with that accuracy. Putting them all right there. I'm high of where I want to be. I was aiming here, but I was a little high at 30 feet. So, can't really complain about that. Good group for me today. Uh, Again, this is an amazing gun. I, I, I really can't say the, the American's an underrated gun in my opinion. Uh, but uh, that is only my opinion, and my opinion sometimes matters. <laughs> At least some people say. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to finish up the review of this, uh, the American. And uh, well, uh, I, I'm just happy I got a great group. So uh, let's go ahead and go finish this up, and we will uh, do that. All right, guys, we're back from the range with the Ruger American in 45 ACP. Guys, I love this gun. Uh, five out of five, 10 out of 10. This is an underrated firearm from Ruger um, and underrated in the 45. Now, yes, for its size, I would say they should have put a couple extra rounds in there. You can get a Glock with 13 rounds. You can get an FM with 15 rounds. They should have put in a couple extra rounds for its size. Uh, it, it, for me, this competes with the MMP 45. Um, at its price point, you're getting a little bit more value, uh, in, in my opinion, a little bit more value 
than the MMP, but at the same time, the MMP in its own right is a great gun. When I went and shot it, I shot great with it. Um, the gun does sit very low in the hand. It does come with Novak style sights, which means they're kind of easy to change to get out night sights. Um, interchangeable back straps. But as you can see, I shot very well with it. Ruger did a nice job with this gun. Now, there's a few complaints that people say, and I, ha I haven't experienced it, but the gun comes up at kind of a right angle right there. Um, and it can bite your hand a little bit. Now, it, I don't know if it bites, but it's more of a, a pinch on it. I don't have that problem. Um, trigger pull is pretty nice, uh, but the reset is all the way out to there. Now, you were gonna hear some shooting in the background. I'm on the range currently. Uh, but as I pull, I'm gonna show you how to take this apart real quick. There's your takedown lever right there. Push down on the takedown lever, slide forward, that comes right off. Now you've got full, uh, you've got uh, two separate sides of uh, slide rails there. Again, it does have a picket tipping rail in the front. It is a polymer frame gun. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together real quick. Lock the slide back, lock that up, and we are all good to go. Um, guys, I really do enjoy this gun. Uh, I can have nothing bad to say about it. It does have nice sights. It does come in a nice hard case. Unlike most Rugers, this one does come in a very nice hard case. Um, and just a nice shooting gun overall. But I'd just like to say thank you for joining me today. Make sure to follow us on Facebook. Like us, uh, or like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Subscribe to the channel here. Hit the little bell for notifications. And thank you again. And have a great rest of your day.